Yes, I need something to eat. I've had quite a night. I should think you want to go to bed, then. I do. <laughs> with a spoon. Take this with you. Somebody else do some pouring out. Who wants that? Who wants the tart? Have a cream cake. Some tart and more cider. Lucy, who else is here? I can really hurt when they drop me in the middle of a coffin. And whatever you knew there was going to be a body in there, you know. I know. Where are you going to put it? I'll put it, I'll put it in my chair, Daddy. Daddy, I'm perfectly responsible. I'll look after you, you know. Don't worry. Can I have some money? Bye, Daisy. Bye, Daisy. Smashing, smashing. Well, I'm Daisy. Especially, especially the set falling down. Oh, come on. Really it's, come it's the best as be. <laughs> Presumably these figures must mean something. I mean, these grades and figures. Yeah. 39th equal out of 53. Yes. Uh, 47th out of 54. I mean, that's not exactly what we expect, honestly, at this stage. No. No, I think lack of preparation was uh, the key factor there. Uh, actually, I had, had some idea before the exams, but it would be quite helpful just to do them without actually revising for them because I'd be able to assess how much work I had to do. I think that would probably be better just to get some clean results and leave it at that. But um, I didn't do any work for the exams. And, you well, know, I mean, that's the obvious way yeah. of, of responding, and maybe there's some yeah. truth in it, and you've had a busy term. Yes. I realise that. But what I'm worried about, I mean, particularly teaching the English, yeah. is that the, the writing isn't fluent, and that while you can talk, we all know you can talk, rather better than most. Okay. I would have expected by this stage that you would be writing with some verve and precision and that any sort of doubt about A-level grades would be irrelevant. But yeah. I, I, quite honestly, I've just read one of your essays or reread part of an essay last night. It's not, it's not going properly. Yeah. As for these... Um, science subjects. These well, science I, subjects. Wow. Well, I just find it boring apart from everything else. I mean, I, you know, I've got to stimulate an interest. I've got to stimulate some sort of motivation over the holidays and just learn the material, and then I'll be set up. But um, well, I mean, you've got yourself in this jam. You yeah, have to do it. Uh, if you fail at this stage, the whole thing is 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 a fiasco. Mm. And well, if you get yeah. if you get three C's or whatever, they're hardly worth worth having. Yeah. So you've got to take it through. You've got to get the motivation mm. and see it through, and then find something which gives you. Great a pleasure, haven't you? It's yeah, as simple as that. No but you know, a lot of people would be quite pleased to see you come a tumbler, because I mean, the impression you give is that um, you've got it all sussed out and that there's no problems, and and people like that, as I say in the report, they quite like watching proud men fall. I don't know how much question it is of pride. I mean, uh, it's very easy to sound callous when you're just trying to be sort of fairly cheerful. I mean, about the exam. Well, I mean, I let's I face it, exams are about turning out material. Yeah, no, yeah. Nobody's expecting the material to be novel or original or whatever. Mm. Well, absolutely right. We want it well ordered, we want it well phrased, we want it well documented, and then you get your grade. And yeah. you can then have your original thoughts in the pub afterwards or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Who, 
and is there no one washing? I mean, what's the story? I'll go wash. So we to move on. Actually, the rule is, now oh, folks, I know it's boring, but in bed it calls to 10, okay? And uh, it's now sort of 14 minutes to 10, and not very many of us are in bed. By the way, gentlemen, I propose an outing to see a film, okay? Find a film, and we'll go and see it, okay? Look in the papers tomorrow morning, and it's nothing obscene, okay? And nothing excessively violent, okay? And it's got to be at a cinema, I and mean, I'm not going out to sort of Ongar or Willesden Green or somewhere. It's got to be somewhere within, you within said trotting you're distance. You're going to take us to Midnight Express. Uh, well, that was yeah. a joke. Oh, I don't, no, I don't think we can pass you off as 21. <laughs> Where have you been? No, we don't run up and down the top. Why? <laughs> Um, well, I don't know anything about physics, don't, 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 don't ask me, I mean, go and ask one of these scientific buffs down the corridor, Mr. Bostridge. Hey, come on, come on, fella, come on, fella, look. Hey, I need to get... I love you. I don't like you. Hey, Guppy, Guppy, into bed, come on. I would get excessively annoyed. Last time that happened, we had a hell of a mess. It took us a long time to clear up, fellow. Uh -huh. I get into bed. Having been at Westminster is a bit like knowing how to waggle your ears. It is a facility you have with you all your life. But, um... The, the value of it isn't always <laughs> terribly clear. You guys are real headed. Oh, oh, okay, so can you sort of keep quiet now? Yeah, I know, right. Just settle down, okay? There are people, listen, please. Shush, come on. There are people trying to work here tonight, so um, let's try and keep it, keep it low, okay? If I have to come in more than about six times tonight, I should get very annoyed. Okay? The iron tongue of 10 o'clock has... Bostridge, how about going to bed? Just a special thing, thank you very much. I always say big bed. Why don't you know the fingers? Mr. Clark. Come on, shush, shush. I smell good. No, he's got all his fingers. Good night. Right now, right, Jack. Sleep tight. Mr. Clark, right, let's get down. You're not the only one who's got all his fingers. You're not the only one who's got all his fingers. You're not the only one who's got all his fingers. You're not the only one who's got all his fingers. You might like to know that since that programme was first shown, Christopher Potter has become an accountant, Daisy Goodwin is a producer with the BBC, and Simon Tarjay is an independent filmmaker. <laughs>